I'm, I'm willing to go on camera and look like a fool. Are you willing to go on camera and look like a fool? Man, what's your name? Mohammed. Mohammed. Listen, Mohammed, I have nothing against you. Okay. I didn't come for you. I don't know you. Look, I, I'm preaching what can I, I got to preach. Can I say something? Do you, know, do you know the story of Jesus Christ when the woman from Samaria, I don't know where she was from, and she came down to Jesus Christ, yeah? And then he, and then he said that, you know, because you're not from the gen, if you're a Gentile, sure. I don't, I don't preach my message to the dogs. I hope that you're yeah. not, I'm not, I hope you're not taking that kind of sentiment now. I think if I'm so, some kind of dog, because here I'm trying to ask you a question as a Christian. Now, whether you think that I am allowed to have a conversation with you or not, you've come to a place where literally conversation is the key. Sure. So you could. And this whole place, people listen. Do you get me? So I look. The thing is, what my friend told me, he comes from Canada as well, which I'm guessing you're from, yeah? Sure. He told me that you're, what you do online is that you go to people who have very weak English skills, who are Muslims, and then you interrogate them on the streets of Toronto. Now, my point is, look, here we are specialized in, in polemics and debate. You've come to the right place to discuss with Muslims their religion. So now, which one? Are you talking about the, the Samaritans look, or the debate? No. Nah, I think you know what I'm saying here. No, okay, go, I'll, let, I'll listen. Okay, what is I'm that whether you, here, whether you believe that I will convert to Christianity or not, that sometimes is aside from the point. I might think in my heart and myself that you're never going to be a Muslim. Yet I discuss the issue of Christianity and Christian theology versus Muslim theology. I mentioned the Samaritan woman to show you that there is some basis in the biblical discourse for getting rid of people who are non-Gentile or who are non-Jewish, Gentiles. So maybe, I know this would be quite ironic being a Gentile yourself, Maybe you got this kind of message and that's why you don't want to speak to any of the Muslims and you want to teach them and you don't want to listen. Oh, no, 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 actually. Say something here. Family David, I want, I want to tell you something, every right? Other year. I want to say that, listen, I mean, the thing is what I believe, the reason why we're here, okay? We do what you're doing sometimes. We go to the streets, we do our own thing, we do our doubt, you know what I'm talking about. But the reason why we do discussion, and sometimes it does go into a debate, I'll tell you our perspective is, we, we, we have an ideology, a theology, which we believe is strong enough to withstand criticism. Sure. And if you believe the same about Christianity, you should not be afraid of engaging in discussion mm -hmm. with someone who believes something different to you. You shouldn't always talk down to someone mm -hmm. as if to teach them and not believe that you can receive an edifying experience yourself. I mean, that's a very, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. unchristian, arrogant stance, I believe. Because I think Christianity, to be frank and honest with you, yeah, is a religion of humility. And this is what it says in the Quran, by the way. The Quran, it says, That is because from the Christians, they are, they are monks and, rap, uh, and, uh, and priests, and they don't, uh, they're not arrogant. So one of the things that the Quran teaches us about Christians is that they're not arrogant. So to be honest with you, I was quite shocked because you're quite a personality, right? You're known in the, in the community that you're speaking down at people and telling them that you're a teacher because there's nothing I can learn from you, all these kind of things. I can, I've, I've been brought up and raised for the most part in this country, for the most part. My teachers were homosexuals, atheists, Christians and some Muslims. And I've learned from all of them, right? So I would, I'm standing here in front of you. I know that you might not agree with me theologically, but I hope that we don't, ha we don't reduce ourselves to the uh, intellectual scribbling of saying that, you know, we can't teach each other anything at all. I think that's an arrogant statement. No, no. Here's what I'm saying, man. Look. If somebody uh, comes and asks us, you know, something about God or Trinity or this and that, we explain the differences, but we don't have a microphone preaching against uh, Christianity. You could probably go there now, probably, my, my bet is, I could be wrong, he'll still be talking about Islam right now. So it's very strange that you would have accused me of uh, preaching against Christianity. Uh, I've just done those three, four formal debates. Uh, th that's not preaching against Christianity. That's not hate mongering. Those were formal disciplined debates. Yeah. Uh, but what he's doing is like this, and he purposely goes to places where he's unchallenged. Yeah. yeah. And unfortunately in Toronto, even if you go to a Muslim festival, <laughs> you'll be unchallenged uh, because the Muslims there somehow are not uh, kind of as sturdy as the as the uh, the brothers here. So he had the chance to debate and he didn't do it. It's, uh, it's so this is true for the Muslim. This is true for the the Hindu, the Sikh, the Buddhist. Listen, I'm going to talk to the Buddhist, whoever is here. Buddha, who's Buddhist? I have a question. Not yet. I'm preaching. Okay. <laughs> who's no, but, Buddhist but, here? But you're, you're preaching, but who is Buddhist here? Preaching, but, yeah. but the thing is, who is Buddhist here? No, preaching, no yeah. Buddhist here. No Buddhist. Lord. Okay. Anyone that's Hindu who's here? Who's Muslim here? Okay. Yeah. Many Muslims. There. So you're now, if you're a Buddhist or a Hindu, listen. The only thing that can get you, you can to make Nirvana. An open challenge to every Muslim that he watches this video. This is an open challenge to Muslim to prove. That Jesus is not hijack. the Son of no, God. Okay, hijack. then don't hijack my preaching. If you want to preach, listen, if you want to preach, I'm preaching. Are you from Canada? 
Okay. I'm preaching. Okay, this is London. Okay. This is Speaker's Corner. So we, so we, we got, we got, we got, we got people years. trying to hijack me. It's a place me. of debates and discussion. And, and they don't like, they don't like my discussion. They want to no, interfere no, no, and force no, people. No, no. You want to force your agenda. You said I got my agenda. I've watched you. You got your agenda. I've watched YouTube That's great. But I'm, I'm preaching. Don't, don't interrupt. This looks like running, bro. Don't go outside. No, no, outside. No, no, not outside. Here, here, here. Check, check, one, two. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay. So I'm going to clear up some things and then we're going to talk. How about that? Uh, you guys want to talk? Where's my Bible? I think I think we followed you on the assumption that Thank we could you. have a discussion with a Muslim. So I am a Muslim. Did, I think what you did is you followed Jesus. No, no. I am a Muslim. My name is Mansour. Why do you need a mic? Let me tell you why. If he's going to speak on the microphone, we should have equal opportunity to speak on the microphone on my own hand. Because what he does... He will do that. He will do that. What he will do that. Listen. If he doesn't do it, he can't do that. What I'm saying is this. Either, either, there is no microphone for both of us. Or, listen. Oh, so what is this? So the reason why he owns it, it. Yeah. 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 am I taking it away? Yeah. If he's going to use the microphone for a debate, then he should give the same equal opportunity to have a microphone in my hand. Why is he afraid? Do you know why he's afraid? No, no. Do you know why he's afraid? Because once you have the microphone, you can just like ball talk. You control the button. I don't want to play his childish game. I think he thinks that you want to take the microphone and then take up time. No, no. I'm not that. Because because he knows his way will be at the moment I have the equal opportunity of the microphone. That's why he doesn't want to do it. Exactly. It's not Don't waste time. Don't waste your time with this guy. Well, uh, who invited this guy that we should talk to? Yeah, no this guy is a waste of time. With no substance. Why are you even bringing us to talk to this guy? He deceived us to bring so sorry, hold on. Did he bring you over here saying that he yeah, wants your questions? Chat. Yeah. The That's what he said, didn't he? And he denied that? And now he's not willing to. He's not willing to now take the like control of the mic. So do this, you know? Christian dialogue. There has to be a common ground. This common ground should be based on what? Respect. That when we speak, you let the other person. When I speak, the other person should listen. When the other person speak, I should listen. But here what you have is someone coming all the away from Speaker's Corner because somehow he realized he has this subconscious fear. If he stays in Speaker's Corner, he's going to get roasted, like what he thinks he has been roasted. We are not saying we have roasted him. As Muslims, we want to confront this hate preacher, his well-known hate preacher. So we want to demonstrate to the whole world that when you come and have a discussion between Muslims and Christians on equal terms, where you are not holding the mic and doing this, and then you're talking in control and walking away like hallelujah you're not giving the equal opportunity so i know his game that's why when i asked him okay when i talk i have the mic on my hand he was not willing do you know why he's not willing because he knows he's gonna his game is gonna be up straight away because when i speak he has to listen but he doesn't want to he's gonna just keep on preaching with his charismatic behavior and his attitude so the message to all of those Christians who may be listening to your channel is this. We Muslims, we are not going to roast you. We will engage with you in a nice way, demonstrating to you the falsity of your belief, because that's what we believe. You worship other than God. You worship the messenger of God. You have come away abandoning the worship of one true God, the God of Jesus and God of Moses. We will only engage with you in logic, reason and rationality. We are not going to somehow come up with emotions and this kind of false, you know, preaching mode. We will not preach to you. We will hear you like you will hear us. And then we'll have a fruitful discussion. Like many discussions are recorded in Speaker's Corner today. Many people are recording left, right and center. And you will see so many good discussions are taking place. When discussions are taking place in the manner of one listening to the other, both audiences and the speakers benefit but when you have someone like a charismatic individual thinks he knows it all he can refute them all it doesn't work you cannot come up with this attitude because this is simply an attitude so again if you have anyone that you like have a reasonable discussion or a debate in a setting that is appropriate don't run away like 
Many of these uh, hate creatures are running away from Leicester Square to the biggest corner to outside the biggest corner. That's exactly what happened. This is running away from the thief. The discussion should have been there in the biggest corner where you can speak freely. But now, why outside the corner? Because he wants to preach. He doesn't want to have a discussion. So, finally, then, if you're really interested, look, I am no one. Like, he said, Who are you? And I said, Who is him? We are no one in this world. We are no one. So, since we are no one, why don't you, between no ones, have a discussion so perhaps some of us can learn from each other? That's simple, isn't it? When the other hate preacher who's gone to America, he used to come here often and speak loudly, you know, the discussion wasn't ever taking place. He would go to his brother and he would not allow anyone to speak. So when we confronted him and we had our own ladder, then the discussion took place in a nice way. Because otherwise it doesn't happen. So, Christians, I'm sorry. You can't carry on with this kind of games that you're playing. If you really want to preach your gospel and share the gospel of the Muslims, here are the rules. Agree with the Muslims the terms of the discussion. Are you going to discuss or are you going to preach? Are you going to say, I am under no obligation to answer your question? Or are you going to say, I'll try my best to answer your questions? Or are you going to say, you fail to answer when answers have been given to you continuously? Stop doing that. When you've asked question and answer is given, it may not be of your liking. It may be not be of your liking. Whether you like it or not, that's the question. The question is, has the answer been provided sufficiently enough to answer and respond to your question? Many times, you keep on repeating the same questions when the answer is given. Don't do that. Ask, answer is given, move on. So, if you are a Christian watching this, and you are interested in debating Muslims, Speaker's Corner has so many bright people. Muslims included. So I didn't just say Muslims are only bright people, Muslims included. Come down to Speaker's Corner, engage with the discussion in a friendly manner, and then perhaps both of you can learn from each other, and then you will at least have an opportunity to demonstrate the truthfulness of your religion, if you think it's true, or at least go back thinking and reflecting why was I unable to answer a Muslim's question. So it's an open invitation, it's a good place to come and speak, but come with a sense of integrity. Come with a sense of fairness and justice. Qualifies me, I'm a minister of God. Who am I? My name is David. Can God have a God? Yes. God can have a God. How many God do you believe in? One. All right. He refers to himself. He refers to himself as God. God. Do you believe God is almighty? Yeah. Can God have an authority higher than him? Uh, yes, can God have authority higher than him? I'm making yes, sure. Can that one God have authority higher than him? His word can. Yes. Yes. That wasn't my question. Yes. Can that one okay, God have authority higher than him? I just showed you. His revelation okay. can be in submission to So basically, to you're telling me a God can have a God. I can tell you his word is under submission to okay, Let me rephrase yes. the question. Can God I have, said yes. I haven't even asked the question. Let me rephrase the question. Yeah. Can oh, God, God have a God? Your God, yes. has he God, God can God. have a God. How many God do you believe in? One. <laughs> All right. He refers to himself. Right, 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 right. He himself as God.